Okay, state of 5G in India. So on one hand, brands like Realme have declared that all Realme smartphones launched about 20,000 will be 5G smartphones. Similarly, GEO CEO Mukesh Ambani said that they'll start deploying 5G in the second half of 2021. But on the other hand, this is a Facebook comment from Manu Kumar Jain, Global VP Xiaomi on a Facebook post saying, 5G is still two to three years away in India. So why pay for it when it is not available? Nice one. So now the question is, what really is the state of 5G in India? And more importantly, should you even consider buying a 5G phone? Well, the short answer is no. 5G is so messed up. And to know about that, let's get on with the video. This is Pradeep from and this is all you need to know about 5G in India. But before we get to that, we upload tech videos thrice a week. And if you want to stay wiser, make sure to subscribe to TechWiser and hit the bell icon as well. Let's go. First up, before we jump on to the devices that support 5G, let's quickly understand what really 5G is. 5G is the fifth generation of cellular networks, similar to 2G, 3G, and 4G, 4th gen. Now, 3G, 4G, 5G works on electromagnetic waves. They are invisible. You don't have a wire between your phone and the 4G antenna pole, but the internet and calling still works. It's because of these invisible waves. Now, these waves have frequencies. In 5G, these frequencies are divided into two parts, sub-6 and millimeter wave. It's basically the frequencies 5G bands will use. Let's take an example to understand it better. Imagine there are two pipes. The first pipe is thin and long, which can carry water for a long distance. The only problem is the volume of the water is slow. So it will take some time to fill the tank. And on the other side, you have a thick and short pipe. It cannot be carried to a huge distance, but the volume of water is insane. You can just fill your tank in just five minutes. Now, the thicker pipe is millimeter wave, which gives you crazy 5G speeds that you see in some internet videos. But for that, you have to stand beside a 5G pole. On the other hand, the thinner pipe is sub-6. It won't give you crazy speeds, but will work far away from the 5G antenna pole. Now that we have the basic understanding of 5G and the frequencies, next, you will need a 5G phone in order to use 5G. More importantly, a 5G chip inside your phone. A 4G phone won't work with 5G. And now I'm gonna drop a big statement. For the most 90% cases, even for the next five to six years, you'll be using sub six only. The thin pipe, which gives you only slightly faster speeds than 4G. To explain that better, let's talk about the 5G bands in India. You might have heard about people talking that OnePlus Nord supports one 5G band, Moto G supports six 5G bands. So what's the deal with that? What are 5G bands? Let's understand what these bands are. So if a company has to operate in a particular frequency, it has to buy them from the government. For example, if Geo wants to use 3400 megahertz frequency band, it has to buy the band from the government first. These are 5G bands represented by N. So instead of calling 3400 or 3600 megahertz, you call it N78. N78 operates in 3300 to 3800 megahertz. And for this purchase of a frequency band, you have a government auction. Now, the government of India has not yet sold any 5G bands. They are planning to do that by the end of 2021. And there is some information about what bands the government of India will sell. In simple words, there are 29 bands which will be auctioned by the government of India in late 2021 or early 2022. And the majority of them are in sub-6. Remember the thin pipe? Only three are in millimeter wave 5G. Even the recent Airtel 5G test that you saw in Hyderabad was in 1800 MHz. This is again sub-6, the thin pipe. Now, apart from Geo, no other telecom operator is even promising millimeter wave 5G. They are all going to operate in the sub-6 range. To make it even better, no phone in India yet supports millimeter wave 5G. Here are some of the popular 5G phones in India. And if you see, the maximum support for 5G band is with iPhone 12 and Nord is the lowest. But none of them support millimeter wave 5G. So any phone that you see selling in India as of now won't give you that crazy 1000 Mbps download speed that you saw in MKBHD video. None of the phones available in India have millimeter wave 5G enabled as of now, the thicker pipe. And here's the interesting part. People talking about 5G bands on the phone, well, these phones don't support more 5G bands because the phone company has to pay 
royalties to the modern company depending on the number of band support so during release like the one plus not they just enable one band name it a 5g phone and sell it again meet and i two 5g bands and it's a 5g phone and there are many other phones as you can see when time comes more bands can be unlocked via an ota update whenever it's required it all depends on what gets auctioned in india and what vodafone geo and airtel support so coming to the big question should you buy a 5g phone in india well 5g shouldn't be the main reason to buy a phone it will take 1 to 2 years to get workable 5g and even 3 to 4 years to get a stable 5g connection in india for example 2g was deployed globally in 1991 but was deployed in india in 1995 3G was deployed globally in 98 but in India 10 years later in 2008 4G services were deployed globally in 2008 India 7 years in 2015 5G started in early 2020 outside and in India it will be no sooner than 2023 according to Ericsson mobility report India will have 350 million 5G subscription by 2026 accounting for 27% of all mobile subscription to give you a perspective out of 1.5 billion active users in 2026 only 350 million will have 5g and as 5g improves even 4g speeds will get better so by the time you have a good enough 5g in india which should be more than 2 to 3 years you still have phones being advertised as the best 5g phone and all hence if you buy a phone now you would have changed at least two phones by the time 5g comes in india so no matter how much media companies and youtube hypes up 5g trust me you're going to buy a 5g phone later as well and don't stress about 5g bans or buying a phone right now with that said this is vidik signing off like the video and subscribe to techwiser see you soon